over two inches of rainfall possible with these storms that have been moving through a large swath of the area dealing with that deeper green and that's when you're looking at about an inch for the hour. Yeah. And you know where Mike was I just want to mention that that is actually inside the uh, flash flood warning itself who's saying he was just to the north uh, of Lawton itself. So again, that's one of those areas where the flash flooding has has now again at least been enough to prompt a warning. Right. Here's a look at a helicopter shot from uh, television station KFOR TV out in the Oklahoma City area, and they are looking at some of the uh, rain coming down, some of that darkness, uh, reduced visibility due to that torrential rainfall with these storms. Uh, we want to head back over and try to talk to Mike Bettis about what they're seeing out there as they continue their tornado hunt today. Yeah, Alex, you know, this is uh, our shot here along I-44 where the rain is so heavy. I mean, speed is just drastically reduced. We have a severe thunderstorm warning right now as we head toward Elgin and a flash flood warning as well. And I can tell you, boy, it is nearly impossible to see the roadway at this point. And so we are really reduced in our speed here. Would not recommend travel on I-44 at this point. We've been, in, we've been pelted by some small hail along with the storm as well. We don't have a tornado warning on any longer. That's the good news. But now now the other threat is going to be the wind, it's going to be the rain, and it's going to be the flooding that persists with this. So I would at this point avoid I-44 anywhere between, say, Lawton and truly all the way over towards, say, Norman, Oklahoma City with these huge rain-producing storms at this point. Uh, police have been out and patrolling. We've seen them up and down I-44 uh, this morning, uh, this afternoon. And I would say at this point, now the hail is, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but now the hail is starting to hit the car. We may have to slow down a little bit and stay in behind the hail shaft. Alex, because this has had a history of producing uh, more than baseball size hail. That's the last thing we want to do is get hit by baseball size hail as we get into the core of the storm. Yeah, that's right. And we have been watching on our hail tracker some.